We done move. It's pouring, it's pouring, babe. It's pouring, it's pouring. I feel like every time your girl has moved, it has been raining. Watch this, I'm gonna show y'all some cool sh**. New crib, who did it? Welcome, welcome back to another vlog, baby. What's goody, what's tea? As I can see you girls in the car, babe, if you're new here, my name is K or KK, and baby, if you're returning, what's up, cousin? What it do, okay? Let me cut my windshield wipers off, y'all, but if y'all hear that in the background, it's because it's raining. I feel like every time your girl has moved, it has been raining, okay? But as y'all see by the title of that video, babe, we done moved, okay? And y'all finna get an apartment tour. <laughs> Y'all know, so your girl has officially, let me take this hoodie y'all, cause I know I look a little ball headed, but I promise I'm not. So we have moved y'all, I have officially got my keys, everything, I also have my couch y'all, but my couch is in another unit, just because our elevator is not working yet, so my homeboy dad, he went to pick my couch up and brought it and everything, but we couldn't get it up the stairs because he didn't have the right dolly because we thought the elevator was gonna be working. They informed me that it should have been working by the time I moved in, but it's not working yet and they have their second, what do you call it? Uh, I can't think of the word, but they have some people coming um, to they have their second inspection on Thursday He's just gonna get the correct dolly and he's gonna deliver it on Monday, which today is Saturday So Monday not tripping moving forward everything is set up y'all. We are about to go and finally do a Apartment tour. I'm excited. This is gonna be an empty apartment tour Which I'm kind of glad my couch is not in there yet so I can give y'all a full empty apartment tour We are going to hopefully move everything in today and then we as far as like my stuff that's at my mom's house and the stuff that's in my trunk we're gonna go ahead and get everything moved in today i need to go back to my mama house and get like my coffee table and i just got a whole bunch of other stuff in my mama house that i need to get so yeah we about to go ahead and go up here and do the um apartment tour and i'm gonna basically give y'all like the details and everything like that so baby let's go ahead and get into it and then we're also going to be um going to the grocery store and just getting some stuff for the apartment that we need i know i need like a shower curtain i need some toothpaste i need groceries i need i already got tissue and paper towels i'm gonna pretty much make a list of the main stuff that your girl needs and then we're gonna go get it Oh, I definitely need a pot and pan set. We need silverware. We need bowls. We need glasses. We need cups. We, baby, the whole nine. We need it. Okay. So I'm going to put my hoodie on, y'all, because um, it is pouring outside. Like when I tell y'all it's pouring, it's pouring, babe. It's pouring. It's pouring. Yeah, we got to walk up the stairs because the elevator not working. But hey, it is what it is. We got a roof over our head. Let's unlock the door. I can literally swipe to unlock. Y'all heard the sound? She's unlocked. Perfect. So let's get inside. We are in here, y'all. I can literally cut the lights on by my phone. Watch this. I'm finna show y'all some cool shh. Man, I'm finna show y'all some cool, bruh. Like, look at this. We finna cut the lights on. <laughs> y'all see that? That is so cool to me. Now, I think I kind of got to get acquainted. Let me take this hoodie y'all, babe, because y'all is not going to take me serious with this on the whole tour. Okay. Let me cut these lights on. So, I think all the lights will go off at one time, and I can dim them. Look, y'all going to see that about to get dimmer. Y'all seen that? <laughs> okay, now let's take a big break. Y'all see that? Okay, for her. Yeah, I kind of got, still got to play around with my lights and stuff to see how everything works, but baby, yeah, it's tea, okay? And this is a new property, y'all. It's a brand new property, so I am the first person that is in this unit. Let me go ahead and give y'all tea child. Soon as you walk in, this is the front door. That ain't pretty tall, ain't it pretty high? As soon as you come over here, you have like a little pantry area or whatever. And then um, you have like another like pantry area. Baby, I'm definitely gonna need my letter. And then um, you have the, I'm skipping over the fridge. You got the fridge right here. I love how it's a double door fridge, y'all, because baby, I've been missing the double door fridge. <laughs> but yeah. So it's a double door fridge and then of course you have the freezer that is down here, which I kind of love these types of freezers, but I honestly have more cabinet space up here. 
um, for things that you need. And then we have more cabinets right here. I'm not going to open all these cabinets for y'all because, baby, y'all, they, they just cabinets. You get what I'm saying? But, yeah, so we got more cabinets, cabinets, cabinets. And I love y'all. I absolutely freaking love the white cabinets. Like, I just know the content is going to be so bright in the kitchen. Like, let me just sit y'all down for a second so we can just talk. Like, the content is going to go crazy, y'all, with the white cabinets in the back. Like, the white cabinets in the back is going to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, a bad visible white cabinet? Yeah, these are, um, this is like an overview of the kitchen. These are all the cabinets. And then you come down, you have the sink right here. You have a um, dishwasher. And then you have more cabinets right here. You have the stove right here. And then you just have more cabinet space. So they ended up giving me this, y'all. So they ended up giving me like a little coffee glass, which was so freaking cute. Y'all already know my protein shake is going to go in here. So they gave me this cute little coffee glass. And they also gave me like this cute little mug. It's a vibe. Okay. And then the countertop, let me show y'all. Countertop is like this granite countertop. And it has like these gray looking streaks. If y'all can see that. And then, um... This is the sink. So it is a deep sink, y'all. It's a deep garden sink. This is like the little handle. I like how it's different. Like, y'all see that? I like that. And then this is the handle. I like how that's real different. I like that. And then, y'all, it's crazy because this is the disposal. You push it down. I don't know why it's not working right now. Okay, there we go. Like, that's the disposal, y'all. And then all you do is go like this. And it cuts off. But yeah, that's the disposal. That is so cool to me. Because, you know, usually you used to a flip. You know what I'm saying? Like a little switch. So, I didn't even show y'all. But this is the island right here. So, it's a pretty, pretty spacious island. I'm thinking I'm going to do... I don't know if I'm going to do three or four bar stools. I'm thinking I'm going to start out with three. And if I need an extra one, i order an extra one. And then, um, right here, y'all, we have these double doors. So, we have two double doors right here. And this is just the washer and dryer. So you have a place where I guess you can like hang stuff. And then you have a place where you can like store certain things. And then we have the washer and dryer, y'all. This is my first ever time having stackable washer and dryer. So we're going to see how you girl like it. A washer and then the dryer. We have like this wall over here. I think I want to do something with this wall. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but y'all see. And then we have our thermostat. Of course, you can do heat, fan, whatever settings you want to do. And then you literally just turn it and it'll adjust your heat. But I have mine on 72. Also, y'all, another kind, I mean not kind, another pro is the fact that your girl can literally adjust her thermostat from the bed. And the apartments are super new, so they're super like insulated. I think that's the right word I'm using. Basically, it keeps all the air in so you don't have to blow your air as hard. You know what I'm saying? What JT said? I don't have to go as hard. Child, my old apartment, not my old apartment, not the most recent old apartment, but the apartments before that. Oh, you had to have that gen on like 50 just for it to get cool. Yeah. So very grateful, very appreciative. And then we have our living room, y'all. This is the living room, y'all. It is so cute, so nice. Like, I mean, I, did. I can't wait to see my couch go right here, babe. Like, then you have, of course, like the other side, the other wall for the TV. I'm not really finna show y'all the balcony because it's wet out there. And babe, trust, y'all done seen the balcony before. It's just outdoors. That's it. Like, it's just outdoors. That's it. That's all. And then, y'all, so you come from the living room and this is your girl bedroom. The bedroom is super spacious. Like, I don't even think the camera does it justice on how big the bedroom actually is. Like, it is super freaking huge, y'all. I love how, like... Every bedroom always have these big old windows. And I already got an idea for what I want to do as far as like the color scheme. Y'all will see that. Um, but y'all will see that in like an upcoming vlog because we're not doing no decorating today. Baby, we got to get it furnished and then we're going to decorate. I have an idea for what I want to do for my curtains. So I'm super freaking excited. And it's crazy because I was watching one of Key Vlogs. And the same thing that she did with her curtains, that's like the same vibe I'm going for with my curtains. It's just funny because we think so much alike. And I be forgetting that we both Scorpios. Our birthday is like three days apart. So I be forgetting that. Yeah, this is the bedroom, y'all. It is chef's kiss, okay? And then um, here is the bathroom. So you walk from the bedroom and you go into the bathroom. And here is the bathroom. I love the lighting. Let me just give y'all like a little overview. But this is the bathroom. I love these lights. But um, here is the mirror right here. And then this is the sink, y'all. And then we have our cabinets and stuff like that. You got the toilet right here. And then you have some extra storage space up here. And then when you turn this way, you have like a little towel rack. 
And then one of my favorite parts, y'all, is the freaking shower. Chef's kiss. So it's a big garden tub for one. Um, super great sizing. And then I love like the sleekness of all of this. Like, oh baby, yeah. I love the designs on the tub. I was having a lot of trouble touring apartments because it was just like you would go in the kitchen. The kitchen has gold and brown. Then you would go in the bathroom. The bathroom is silver. Or you would go in the bedroom or whatever like you would go in another part of the apartment and it's like two different finishes and me don't get me wrong i do mix my jewelry because y'all see my earrings is gold and my necklaces is gold oh y'all can't see my necklaces but my necklaces is gold but i wear silver rings because i like the silver rings but when it comes to my home i just prefer it to be all silver finishes or all gold finishes so the fact that everything is a silver finish literally chef's kiss it makes it so much easier to decorate everything looks so much more sleek it's just literally chef's kiss this is the bathroom let me try to give y'all like another overview so yeah this is the bathroom here go look all of me and eh, what's up let's see and yeah so this is the bathroom then you have this right here which i'm gonna do something with this wall y'all will see though and then we have the tub okay and then y'all we have our closet which um you have a rack right here i love this part i was literally sold on this when i seen this in the closet i'm like it's so much i can do with that right there so literally love that and then you have this top area for more clothes and then you have this bottom area for more clothes and then um, I'm thinking I'm going to put something else in my closet. I'm not sure on how I'm going to get what I did not see this y'all. I did not know this was here. What y'all I literally tore this exact unit. I did not see this behind the door. What's T for real? Like when I tell y'all back, God is still in the blessing business. God is forever in the blessing business. Okay. Y'all, this is crazy to me because I literally did not know this was right here. But this is so cute. Like, I guess I got some little shelves in here now. Like, okay then, your girl got some shelves in here now. I'm little about it. That's just more closet space that I can use. Like, I literally toured this exact unit and did not know none of it. Crazy, right? Oh, I didn't show y'all this side. This side of the cabinets are gray. I'm not sure like where she got the inspo from, but I'm not mad at it. But this side is gray. This is a trash can, I believe. Yep, I have like some cabinet space, which I kind of like this because most of the time when you have islands, all you have is cabinet space. You don't really have drawer space. So I like the fact that I got drawer space over here too. And then you just got cabinets and yeah. So yeah, that's T, y'all. I love the fact that I can lock and unlock my door from my phone. I can turn off lights from my phone. Let me unlock um, my phone and see. Let me see. Okay, I turned dimmer off. I need to go on my levitation because it's another app that helps you control like all the different lights. So yeah but i am little about the fact that i can do a lot of stuff on my phone i love that amenity but if i wanted to cut my thermostat off or if i wanted to cut it down because i know it's gonna be hot when i get off or what it is just the convenience you get what i'm saying i love the convenience of everything i'm not mad at it i'm going to go ahead and unload the car go ahead and start bringing stuff in i did just want to go ahead and give y'all like a empty apartment tour before i start putting this stuff in we're gonna run to some stores today i'm gonna go to the grocery store because i need to get some upcoming um groceries for like this upcoming week because as y'all know i have been meal prepping well y'all don't know that because i haven't really taught y'all much about 75 part because i've been getting out all this old content so y'all haven't really seen no new content yet i am doing 75 part challenge and um i have been trying to meal prep so i definitely want to cook a meal before i go back to work on monday so i'm gonna quit rambling and we're gonna go ahead and unpack the car and bring everything in i'm gonna just leave y'all inside the apartment that way i can just get footage of me coming in dropping stuff off and i'm also going to my homegirl house because she taught me that she got an air mattress for me because she know i ain't got my bed yet like babe i just i got i really got some wrong friends and i just thank god i'm gonna see y'all in a little bit we about to go ahead and get his show on the road okay just real quick y'all i forgot to show y'all these underlights that i have under here y'all 
y'all we are in the car y'all i got so much stuff in the house but i am tired and it's only three o'clock it's 2 58 um, i haven't eaten anything all day y'all so i'm about to go to chick-fil-a and your girl's about to get something to eat i'm about to go ahead and get a cob salad a chicken cob salad because that's what i got a taste for right now why is my window fogging up like that i don't like that but yeah I didn't go back to my police office before. Before they close, and it's Saturday. I wonder what time they close on Saturday. Oh, they don't close till five, so perfect. We're going to go get some more stuff. And then I'll kind of go to the store and get some stuff I need. And we'll come back, we'll clean. And baby, that's gonna be wraps for the day, okay? And then we'll resume um, tomorrow with me going shopping. I probably won't go shopping today, y'all, just because of the fact that it's raining so much. And by the time I finish cleaning and stuff, I may just wanna lay on this air mattress and call it a night, get some editing done and call it a night for real. At this point, I'm just ready to go home and shower, but I do need to get a shower curtain. We might just go by TJ Maxx and Ross today, cause TJ Maxx and Ross is right there. Just so I can see if I can find a shower curtain, cause I need that. If I don't get nothing else, I need a shower curtain. But, uh, oh, we, uh. Mm -mm. Oh, baby, I'm yawning. I'm tired. Your girl is tired, okay? Hi, Kay. Let me do a cob salad. No, um, no ham or bacon. No bacon? Yeah, no bacon. Okay, what kind of Uh, the avocado lime ranch. Let me put on my R&B playlist, because I just, I need some vibes right now. I got my seat warmers on, because my back is soaked. Boy, my back is soaked, y'all. Oh, this is my song. It just flipped on this CD player. I just want to inform you that when you got somebody good, you hold on to them. Talk that talk. Y'all don't know nothing about this right here. Have a show a new slow to take and quick to give. Uh, it was for K. I I had a, a cob salad, no bacon. Uh, with the medium power rate. No, I have not. Hey cousins, let me um pause this. So what's up y'all? It is currently 7.30 p.m. I hadn't talked to y'all since early since you girl had Chick-fil-A, which was probably like two, three hours ago now. As y'all can see, baby, we're loaded down. Like I got so much in the trunk. I got well, I got all my clothes in the trunk, and y'all see that board that's slanted like that? That's my vision board. I got all these bags back here. Y'all probably can't see them. And then y'all see the front seat is loaded. Okay. And like I said, y'all, it is 7:30 p.m. I still got some stuff in my mom's house that I need to get, but I don't have too much. I think I got my big ladder. I got two more bags, and then I got my coffee table, which my coffee table is not gonna fit in my car with all this stuff, so it was just, I don't even know what was in the two bags, honestly. I just know I got my face wash, I got some towels to take a bath, I got my soap. Uh, baby, I got everything I need to get through tonight. Of course, it's still rainy, y'all, and your girl has been moving all day. Not only have I been moving all day, I've been moving all by myself. Self. Uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Not only has your girl been moving all day, I've been moving by myself all day, okay? I took all that stuff upstairs by myself, everything I had in the car the first go around. Whatever I don't get out um, of the car, I'll just get it out in the morning because I don't have nothing to do in the morning. I just need to make sure I got some clothes to go to work tonight because, y'all, it's 7.30 and I got to be at work at 11 p.m. tonight. Call me crazy. I know I am. Trust. I know. Good morning, good morning, good morning, cousins. Let's go ahead and open these blinds, y'all. Excuse my voice, y'all, it's a little raspy because when I be at work, I be yelling and screaming. Not intentionally, it's just the music be so loud and I be trying to have other people hear me and it just, my voice be raspy, but anywho. Let's move forward. So, it is the next day, y'all, and we have some errands to run. I basically unpacked, well, not unpacked, but I unpacked my whole car yesterday. I was about to say I unpacked everything yesterday, but your girl haven't even unpacked yet. But I unpacked my whole car yesterday. Everything is literally in the living room, like, y'all. We got our blow-up mattress right here. Just a t-shirt and a brush in the bathroom. Because I had to go to work last night. And then, as y'all can see, I got everything literally right here. So, honestly, y'all, I don't have a whole lot to unpack. Majority clothes. And really, that's it. And honestly, I still have more clothes to get out of my car. We're going to go ahead and start unpacking today. Because I need to go ahead and get everything unpacked. So, I can just know where everything is. Because if I don't, it's a child's going to bother me. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning the counters. I need to run to the stores, though, y'all. So, we about to run to TJ Maxx and Ross and just basically see what we can find because I know for sure I need to get a shower curtain I need to get like some towels for the kitchen a paper towel holder if I can find one but I really wanted this paper towel holder off Amazon so I might just go on Amazon and 
order when I sit on Amazon. But yeah, basically me saying all that, we have a lot we need to get done. Um, I need to wash clothes too, but like I said, I haven't unpacked anything, so I don't even know what's what's dirty, what's clean, what's nothing. Your girl has been looking at bed frames because I want to go ahead and get my bed frame. Like I already got my couch and get delivered tomorrow because today is sunday happy happy sunday y'all but my couch gets delivered tomorrow um when i get off work tomorrow so i'll film that whole process or just show y'all the after but the only thing is y'all i don't know if i want my bed frame to match my living room because my living room couch is gonna be like a cream color and i don't know if i want to do a cream color in the bedroom or if i want to match the shower to my bed and do like a gray i'm trying to see what i want to do but i think honestly more than anything i'm just going to y'all know how like on amazon you can basically put it in your home and see how it looks so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna take some screenshots and i'm gonna basically see what i like the best and then we're gonna go ahead and try to um order us a bed frame y'all give your girl a little grace because baby, I think the tripod is in the car. I think the tripod is in the car. Ooh, y'all, we got our workout in real good yesterday. It was like equivalent to three workouts that we did yesterday. I'm like, baby. But we gotta get up and go to the gym today, y'all. We just, we gotta get back on it. So yeah, we gotta get some content done today. I'm gonna see why I'm in the stores. If I can find like some bowls some utensils and stuff because we need that too you know what i'm saying it's such like a thin line of getting everything you need and the fact that i just moved in on the 16th so it's like forget what you need right now live how you gotta live till you pay this rent for the first because i feel like the first is gonna fly here you know what i'm saying and i know i'm gonna get paid three more times before the first like today is the 17 or not the 17 let me do based off let me get my phone child because i'm gonna wreck my brain trying to figure out these days baby that's what you got a calendar for today is the 17th so i get paid again tomorrow and then i'll get paid again on friday and then i'll get paid again on the 25th and then i'll get paid again on the 29th so actually i get paid four more times before the month is over and y'all probably like 4k we already on the 17 how you pay four more times y'all know i got two jobs so one of my jobs pay me on mondays or tuesdays and my other job pay me every friday well technically every thursday night but every friday because i don't see the money till i wake up friday morning so yeah i need to go ahead and start budgeting like writing my bills and stuff out i just don't quite know how my electricity bill is gonna be because yeah i ended up doing ambit energy and i feel like i should have went with txu because that's who i was with last time and i love txu because it was just never like the price range was just never out of like control you know what i'm saying i'll be hearing certain stuff about ambit like we're gonna see how the first bill is but then too you know they base your rates off what area you in too and i feel like honestly my rate could be a little higher because of the area that i'm in so ciao anywho let's go ahead and go y'all i need to get my keys i'm just gonna put on my little slides it's such a well i was gonna say it's such a beautiful day outside but every day is a beautiful day when you wake up alive and healthy it's a beautiful day even though it's kind of like gloomy outside and it's still raining it's a beautiful day oh y'all also i ended up downloading the app to do my lights so that's something that we'll work on probably like this week or something y'all that song by sexy red is just stuck in my head rent free yeah the one when she was like dang the song was just in my head oh when she like i want a big dog a big dog mm, i want a big dog a big dog with money big yo I don't know why that gun is just stuck in my head. Like, it's a living in my head. Run for me. Okay, y'all. So, your girl has made it to TJ Maxx. I'm on the home goods side because TJ Maxx is connected to home goods. So, yeah, we on this side. Y'all, I'm looking at some stuff that I need. Um, I definitely need a bath mat. And I'm looking at this one. This one is a bath mat because y'all know my shower is gray. So, I'm looking into this one. I need to see if this is the right kind of gray though. This is $12.99, but I would need one to match my, my sink too. I'm about to pull a picture up in my shower so I can see if it matches the matches this gray good. This is my shower, y'all. As y'all know, y'all seen the other day. So we about to try to color match this. I think we're just gonna get this set. Because I like this set. It's a sink and a bath mat. I'm not really the biggest, like pickiest person on how the shower curtain looks. I feel like it's just the shower curtain. I like this shower curtain, so maybe I will get this shower curtain. Got a shower liner, and we got a shower curtain. Okay. Yeah, so they also got these memory foam bath mats. Oh, my day. Which one do I want to do? This would be so cute for the bathroom. Um, I do have a question. Yeah. So, as far as um these shower curtains, do they come with the, cl the clips? No. They don't? So you have to buy those separately? Okay, thank Some you. Stores have them. them. Yeah. But every okay. now and again, like maybe for some form of celebration, they might do them to get like a Christmas, we get them. 
all you together. Know, okay. Okay. Thank you. You are. I think I'm about to go to Ross, and this is all that I'm gonna get out of here. We got him. Okay, Ross way down there. We definitely finna drive around. Hopefully I can find some shower curtain clips inside of Ross. Or I can run somewhere and get some for cheap. Because baby, if we ain't got no rod, I mean no um clips, how we gonna hang the thing on the rod? You know what I'm saying? What can Lee be saying, y'all? We got it. Let's try it. <laughs> At least we got our bath mess and we got our shower curtain. So yeah. Oh, y'all, it ain't nobody in Ross. I love that. I love when I come to Ross and it ain't nobody in here. If I do get an accent chair, I might come back and look at Ross's. They have some nice accent chairs or like a little bench or something. I don't know. Is it really a Ross trip if you go and don't look at the candles? No. Oh, this one smells good. This one smells really good. Oh, this one smells refreshing. OMG. This shot <laughs> literally a 10 out of 10. For sure, for sure. Okay, y'all, I think I'm gonna just get these two for now because I'm still going to Pop Shelf and I still gotta go to Walmart. Okay, y'all, so we just got back in the car. We got not too much out of um, Ross. We spent $60 in Ross. Now we about to head to Pop Shelf and then once we leave Pop Shelf, we're gonna go to Walmart and Walmart is going to be our final stop. Okay, we're 15 minutes from the nearest one and then we'll just go to the nearest Walmart by us. I was worried about the motor homes, and you be on me with the money. You want your hair did nails did everything flee. Say that, huh, y'all? Y'all, so we're back. We got a haul to show. Okay, so y'all know we got uh we went to the stores earlier today, y'all. Honestly, I came home. I had me some Charlie's, y'all, because the Walmart I be going to. They got a Charlie, so your girl had to stop, okay? Because I'm starving. Well, not now. I'm full. I'm too full right now. Earlier, I was doing all this shopping, and your girl was hungry. We got a lot of shopping done, and I wanted to give y'all a haul of everything that your girl got as far as um, us going shopping today. So, first things first, y'all. I ended up getting this silver trash can. This is going to be for the bathroom. I wanted it more sleek, so I just went with this silver one. Instead of like the one where you have to put your foot on it, then, you know. I ended up getting that from Walmart. I'm going to try my best to tell y'all where I got everything from. That way, y'all can kind of have like an idea for the most part so yeah i was at walmart ended up getting this also this is just clearly gonna be like a toothbrush holder i ended up getting this hand soap dispenser two of these cute little vanity trays these are for the bathroom as i can see they're like my colors you know white with like that pop of gray i ended up getting these for the bathroom i ended up getting two because i think i'm gonna set let me put my ipad on easy because i think my messages is just now catching up Oh, and I also, I need to set my internet up today, y'all. That's something else I need to do. Um, Because my internet comes with my apartments. But I did end up getting two of these trays because my logic behind getting two was the fact that I'm probably going to put soap, this, and probably something else that has to do with, like, you know what I'm saying? Just washing your hands and just hygiene and stuff. And then I was thinking, I got this second. And the fact that my iPad is still going off is crazy. The reason why I got this second one, y'all, was to strictly only put my face products on it. So, like, face wash, face moisturizer, and then everything I use for my face. So, that's the reason why I got two. I didn't want to get one, and then I came back to get another one, and it's sold out, or they don't have it. And then it's like, okay, now you got two different trays, you know? So, I went ahead and got two. And then y'all just went and got these uh, little flushable wipes because we use the bathroom bag. I ended up getting this uh, little towel, y'all. It's so soft, but I feel like all towels be soft when you for his volume and then slowly over time they kind of you know what i'm saying i know y'all know what i'm talking about but yeah i got this gray towel because it's gonna be like a hand drying towel that i'm gonna use for the bathroom i really got a lot of stuff for the bathroom today y'all because really i mean the next portion i'm gonna be working on is bedroom kitchen because i did want to get like some pots and pans and stuff like that which i think i'm for sure gonna order my pots and pans from amazon or i may go get a set from walmart but or tj maxx or something i don't know i definitely did a lot for the bathroom today and i'm gonna try to work on bedroom and kitchen 
these next couple of weeks. Ended up getting all that. That was everything that your girl got from Walmart. I had to make sure. But also, y'all probably could care less, but I ended up getting a broom and a mop from Walmart because y'all know we got to clean today, babe. We're going to be clean. Yeah. So we put any of this away. We have to clean today, so and then we're gonna move on to Ross. I ended up seeing these cute little bath towels, y'all. That was $4.99. Y'all know sage green is gonna be my color. So these towels are like sage green and white. So cute if you ask me. I ended up getting two candles. So this first candle I got, this is what it looks like, and it just smells so clean, y'all. Like it smells like I'm trying to like really elaborate the smell to y'all. Okay, so you know like when you get out the shower. Okay, you know like when a man gets out the shower and he has like a really strong clean under smell of like body wash. Like a strong clean smell of body wash when he get out the shower. That's the masculinity of this. And it just smells so fresh and so clean. Like the best thing I can relate it to is like a really good smelling Dove body wash for men that just has like a really clean smell. That's like the best way I would describe this with like I don't know it just has like a sexiness on top of it though you get what I'm saying ended up getting this candle this is just what it looks like and then I ended up getting another candle y'all it's called meditate this is just what it looks like Let's see if I can describe this to y'all this one smells like more refreshing like it's like more of a lighter scent if that makes sense and this was more of like a deeper masculinity scent which seems like they would be the opposite right this one seemed like it would be a light scent and this one would be a masculine deep scent but it's vice versa. But they smell really good, y'all. We'll end up lighting these once we finish cleaning and stuff. That's the first Ross bag we got. And then y'all end up getting some towels because I do have some towels, but I really need to restart my towel collection, we being honest, because I think I only got two or three towels to my name, <laughs> if you want to be honest. So yeah, I ended up getting some towels. I ended up getting this sage green. Y'all know sage green is under my color. So, got a sage green towel. Just ended up getting two of them because it's just me. So, I can build on my towel collection as I go. But yeah, I ended up getting two of them. They were $6.99 a piece. Yeah, so that was everything your girl ended up getting from Ross. And then next, we have the Maxi Poo. Sorry if I say hungers on this side, but the Maxi Poo. So, I ended up getting. I was going back and forth on these in the store, but they are so freaking soft, y'all. Like, literally so freaking soft. But I ended up getting bath mat and like a sink mat. So, of course, the one on top is a sink mat. And then this one is a bath mat. Bathroom, I'm going to just hang it right here real quick. So, I mop in there, sweep and mop in there, and put it down. I ended up getting a shower liner, y'all, for the bathtub. I just got this, like, white. It's really like a white, um... It's like a white crisp shower curtain. You know, like it's not doing too much. It's got like these subtle details in it and it's white. I did get this from the Home Goods side of TJ Maxx. And it was a $9.99. So it was $10 for that. And then y'all got some king size pillows. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't remember where I got them from. I got some king size pillows. It's two pillows in here. And I want to say I got those from Ross, y'all. I definitely want to say I got those from Ross. I can't remember if I got them from Ross or Home Goods. But I definitely want to say I got those from Ross. And then y'all, your girl ended up getting some Method. I love Method cleaning products, y'all. Between Myers and Method, baby, choke hold. Okay, choke me out. Okay, because I literally love their products like real bad. But um, yeah, ended up getting some of this. I got this one because it smells really good. Personally, my favorites are the pink one and the yellow one. They smell the best to me. I smelled the green one. It just, it wasn't the smell that I expected, honestly. And then y'all ended up getting a tissue holder for the bathroom. I got these stainless steel straws, y'all, because y'all know your girl is doing um, 75 hard challenge. So with that challenge, I'm supposed to be drinking a gallon of water a day, which I don't know how I'm doing that when we didn't go get no water today at all. I'll probably go get some water before the day's over with and kill my six to eight bottles because I gotta go to the gym today too. Got these straws. I specifically got these for my protein shakes because I was telling y'all they gave me this little glass and then they gave me a little mug. So what I was thinking was stick one of these in here, my protein shake for the day. And by the way, y'all, I got all this stuff from Top Shelf. And then y'all just got these cleaning uh, supplies. I ended up getting this little scrubber. And then I got these little scrubbers because they look scrub things and stuff be a dollar and then y'all got these hooks because 
Um, no hooks had came with my shower curtain, so I ended up getting these hooks. And then I just got these pack of dish towels, y'all. It matched the aesthetic, because y'all know I'm doing my sage green. I ended up getting this microfiber glass and mirror cloth, because y'all know one thing about it, babe. I'm gonna clean my mirror. If I don't do nothing else, I'm going to clean my mirror. I was like, huh, this is neat. And it was only a dollar, so I was like, you can't beat that. So yeah, ended up getting that, and then... The last thing I got y'all, this is literally a bunch of, that's crazy, I was gonna say cutlery. <laughs> no one I don't say cutlery. But this is a bunch of like silverware, just spoons, forks, and knives. That's literally what's in here, which I'll consider a little bit. So I'm not gonna unravel this right now, just because of the fact that if I wash that right now, I'm not gonna have nowhere to put it because I don't have no tray to put my, you know what I'm saying? And I seen one at Walmart, y'all. I seen a little cute bamboo tray at Walmart. But I don't want to do bamboo because y'all know that doesn't, it doesn't match what I got going on. Yeah, I just ended up not getting it. I was like, I'll go on Amazon and order one. But yeah, y'all, that's tea. That's everything you girl got. I'm about to go ahead and start putting all this stuff in my bedroom so I can go ahead and start wiping out the counters and sweeping and mopping. I'm not gonna do like no super duper deep clean, y'all. Y'all probably like, okay, mm, that don't sound super good. But I'm not gonna do no super deep clean just because of the fact that all my appliances are brand new. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm not cleaning out the fridge. Sorry, not sorry. Say what you wanna say in the comments. Not wiping each cabinet down individually. And not doing that. The most I'm gonna do is wipe these counters and stuff down, wash this thing down real good, sweep them out these floors, clean that stove down real good. And baby, that's gonna be y'all. She wrote. KK, I'm not breaking my back like a Hebrew slave. Wrong girl. Mm -mm. And then of course when we get to the bathroom. I'm actually clean the bathroom, but I can't really clean the bathroom the way that I want to clean it, especially like the toilet, because I don't have no toilet brush. That's something else I forgot to get. I need to add that to the list. practically clean so all this stuff y'all see over here most of that stuff that's got to go in the bathroom but i got to clean the bathroom first so just ignore that for a second this i need to go put in the closet everything else can just kind of stay there all of this stuff is mostly going in the bathroom like this bathroom well 
pretty much all of this is going to the bathroom, but I gotta clean it first to put it in there. That's trash, and then those are the pillows, of course. And then your girl gotta get to the kitchen, but honestly, it's not too much to do in the kitchen because it's not like it's a bunch of groceries. It's just like stuff that go in the kitchen. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, we need to put all this up. So I'ma just film and give y'all a montage of me putting everything up and me cleaning the bathroom real quick. I'm not gonna be able to clean the toilet because I still need to get a toilet brush on and I get one today. We're about to go ahead and tackle this bathroom real quick. I'ma just clean the counter and the mirror. I thought I had some, I thought I had some window spray, y'all, like some uh glass cleaner. Because I gotta be up at 4 a.m. going to the chief. Let's go ahead and get this stuff put up. I am put up. No, forget. No, forget. Okay. I'm so groovy. I got power. I'm so groovy. I got power. I just bought it. I'm so groovy. I got power. I'm so groovy. I got power. That's your bitch. I just bought it. I had a feeling. Yes, I did. From the beginning. I've been taking on all this baggage. I've been on so much weight. That's the one. Cousins, y'all. Excited. I'm so freaking geek, man. What's to y'all? So ignore my hair. It was everywhere, so I had to put this little top part up. But y'all, I'm freaking geeked. Okay, yeah, I'm excited. Let me catch y'all up to speed. So I haven't talked to y'all since the day before yesterday, because yesterday it wasn't really nothing going on. My couch was supposed to get delivered yesterday, but they ended up postponing it today. So literally, my couch just got delivered. Let me tell y'all everything that happened, like everything that went on um, with the process of it getting delivered. Well, quote unquote delivered, because it wasn't like no delivery people that delivered it or like no company that delivered it anywho it is currently 6 42 we're gonna have to take a pause in like the next 10 to 12 minutes because i gotta promote my new vlog that's going up at seven my couch was supposed to get delivered yesterday my couch didn't end up getting delivered yesterday because my homeboy dad is the person who picked my couch up from the distribution center to bring it to my house and so we thought the elevator was gonna be working because when i came in toward these apartments that we i was aware that the elevator wasn't working but they said they had an inspection coming like the next week so it definitely would have been working by the time I moved in. So I think I already told y'all about this a little bit. It wasn't working and we wasn't aware that it wasn't working until we got here. He couldn't bring my couch up. So he was just like, Monday we can move it. So Monday the guy that was supposed to help him, I guess he ended up working later. So he was supposed to help him move it today. I guess the guy canceled today. He didn't, I, child. I guess he didn't want to have to carry a couch upstairs. But yeah, he ended up counseling. So my neighbors ended up helping me, y'all. And it was literally so sweet. And I'm like, I was trying to pay them for moving it. And they literally would not take my money. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to beg you to take my money. If I offer and you tell me no, then it's in God's hands at that point. But yeah, so I need to put like the little leg pieces on my couch. And then I'm going to put like the cushions and everything on there. Y'all, I'm so freaking geeked. I'm so excited because y'all know this is like my first time actually furnishing my apartment actually like okay first of all like having my own apartment and not only have my own apartment but actually like furnishing my apartment just off the strength of me just working hard you know what I'm saying what Boosie said she 
just said she loved Willie from his looks to his ways, okay? Anywho, y'all, so y'all know, like, this is my first time, like, actually furnishing my own place out. So I'm just so freaking geeked and so excited for, like, the process and the journey of it all. But we got our couch, y'all. I'm about to show y'all the couch. And then we're going to start trying to put the legs on and stuff like that. And then we're going to set it up and everything. Y'all probably should have got a rug before I got my couch. But we'll cross that bridge when we cross it. Because, honestly, I don't even know if I'm still going to get a rug. It just really depends on how I'm feeling. So let me go ahead and show y'all my couch. Yeah, your girl got a couch now. This is my couch, y'all. This is it. It's a sectional and your girl is a lit about it baby she is huge like literally huge yeah that gen is huge we about to go ahead and pull these legs off and get them like screwed on because i think that's all you got to do is screw them on so we about to go ahead and screw these on real quick yeah we're just gonna go from there so i'm gonna just do a little montage so y'all can watch me do everything but i'm loving it y'all because our home is coming together already i just absolutely love that for you girl you know what i'm saying like i love it I love it. My home is coming together already and I'm just, I'm loving it. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep all these pillows on here. So this is the couch and I think I'm going to take this blue looking pillow off because I wanted it more to be like a lighter color scheme as to why we have white cabinets, white interior. You know what I'm saying? So I think I want the pillows to be like light. So I think I'm going to keep this one, this back one and take this one off because I already took that one off too because that one is hideous. It's so crazy y'all because I was trying to decide if I wanted to do a cream bed or if I wanted to do gray but I'm definitely doing cream now because I like the way the cream looks with the white. I love the way the cream looks with the white. I'm definitely going to do a cream bed but I want to get on Amazon. You know how you can see how stuff look in your home on Amazon. What's up, y'all? A baby is always back. Y'all know yesterday I showed y'all my couch and how we got the couch up and everything. I never really came back to y'all after we got the couch and everything up because I was tired, y'all. Like, I usually get up at 4 a.m. If you follow me on the ground, then you know your girl been getting up at 4 a.m. doing workouts every single day for like the past. 20 some days now probably like a month now by the time y'all seeing this yeah i didn't really talk to y'all after the fact i missed my workout this morning which i did get up at four but y'all i literally just could not move but we're actually gonna be making some progress in our home today okay let me go ahead and show y'all like some progress that has been made so far so your girl went ahead and hung everything up in the closet this is how the closet looks right now y'all none of this stuff is staying over here i'm just waiting to i get a dresser for my bedroom and all this stuff is gonna be moved into my dresser i got all my clothes in here now so yeah everything is in here and then i have this one up here but as y'all can see there's nothing up there yet because i can't really reach up there for real i mean if i get on my steps through i probably can but we're not doing that right now organizing the closet is gonna be a whole project in itself so we're probably gonna work on that this weekend when your girl is off which i'm technically not off on the weekends but saturday i don't go to work till 10 p.m so we actually got time to work on the closet so we'll probably work on the closet on saturday i got everything in here baby that's all that matters we got everything in the closet i'm not sure if i want to color coordinate it or how I want to do the closet but yeah I got all these seasonings right here that y'all see I need to put them in the seasonings cabinet so we're gonna end up doing that tonight let me actually sit y'all down so yeah we're gonna end up doing that tonight so I'm just basically going to run down everything that we have to do today before and I actually think I would take this off I got my skim set on up under here y'all I got my skims little gray tank on and then I got the shorts on also but I put some other shorts on top of my skim shorts but I think I'm gonna put this black hoodie on I just would prefer my whole like upper body to be covered you know yeah so I made a little grocery list y'all I'm not really getting too much from the grocery store today we just have to have some pots and pans y'all like your girl don't have no pots and pans and we need some because I noticed like when I eat out I don't eat as much as if I would eat 
if your girl ate in the house. And when I say that, I mean like I'll miss meals when I eat out because I'm not trying to eat out like that. If I eat out, my limit is two times a day. I'm not eating out more than twice a day. So if I reach my limit and I'm still hungry, I'm either gonna snack or I'm gonna cook something. We don't have anything to cook as of now. I made a little list, so let's go ahead and head to the grocery store so we can get everything we need. And then we'll just come back and chat. We'll get this, we'll get this house together, okay? Ain't it fun, ain't it fun Living in the real world They thought I was crazy we about to go to Walmart because that's where I'm getting my pots and pans set from Walmart. It's another pot and pan set that I want off Amazon. So bad, y'all, but I just don't want to wait for them to come in because I guess like they on back order or something. I, child, I don't really know, but basically they can't come in to the first week of April. It's freaking March 20th. Like the first week of April is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna just get some now, and I just say that because I'm gonna end up cooking this weekend. I'm just really trying to get me through the rest of this week. That's why I'm going to go get some tuna so I could just have something where I won't have to eat out today and tomorrow and i need to get like some eggs and stuff that way i can cook breakfast where i'm not going to go stop for breakfast on the way to work hey. y'all like this song give me goosebumps for real because like go chase your dreams for real and i walk to school all this rain and punch in the for like slavery So, your girl has made it inside of Walmart. I don't know what I want to cook this weekend, though. Y'all, yeah, I'm about to find something. Because I know your girl love to cook a little something. Throw a little something together. You know, throw something on the grill. <laughs> on the grill is crazy. Oh, y'all, I did need some relish. We need some for the tuna. Y'all be walking around stores like I don't have a camera in my hand. What's happening, babe? Your girl is back. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. Y'all know we gonna get them Chipotle napkins for the car every time. Okay, y'all, so we are back from the grocery store. Let me pretty much show y'all a haul of everything that I got, which y'all know your girl didn't get much, but I'm gonna show y'all everything that I ended up getting. And I also ended up wondering about Walgreens that I got home. I was like, huh, I forgot I wanted to get like some little protein, little like milkshakes to just have like as pre-workout before I go to the gym. Because I really don't feel like fixing me a protein shake tonight. I'm just waiting in the morning to do my protein shake. So that means we got to be up. bread because when I get back to the house we're gonna make some tuna and also while my tuna is cooking I'm gonna be setting up like the blender and stuff well really it ain't much to set up a blender child you just pull it out the box and plug it up I ended up getting this little pyrex bowl cereal your girl don't have no bowls okay I got spoons and forks and knives but I ain't got no bowls don't have no bowls but they're coming I ended up getting some oat milk peanut butter this is gonna be solely for the protein shakes because I'm not really like a fan of just eating peanut butter by itself it's just too thick for me. Um, and then tuna for the tuna we're gonna be making. Of course, we need this for the tuna. And then I got this to make a breakfast too. Hello. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm not done working out. I haven't even went to go work out. Oh, don't tell me you're skipping tonight, huh? No, I'm not skipping. I actually just came from Walmart. I had to go get some pots and pans. I ended up getting, what's in here? Oh, this is also for the tuna. I got some mayo, which I just need mayo because I like to use, I should've got the kind where you scoop it out, but that's fine too. I like to use mayo for my burgers too. And then we got some relish. So that was pretty much everything we got from the grocery store. And then y'all, we got this T5 pot set, pot and pan set. Cause y'all know you girl need some pot and pans, baby. Ooh, y'all can't hold it up for too long, baby. I ain't been, I ain't been doing my arm workouts that long, but I have been doing more arm workouts, y'all. So I'm geeked about that because it used to, I used to literally just go in the gym and do legs and abs all the time when I'm in the gym. So now the fact that I'm working out my arms, working out my back, like baby, I'm loving it. Also, y'all had went to Walgreens. For one, I want to film my workout tonight. I'm going to bring y'all in the gym with me, which I freaking love my gym. So I hope there's nobody in there because... I really want to like get y'all some content in the gym tonight. Yeah, I'm going to the gym tonight and I sh I had went to Walgreens to go get some chips, but I didn't end up getting no chips because they didn't have the chips that I wanted. I didn't get none at all. I ended up getting these um Premier Protein. I've never had these before y'all. Like this is my first time trying these. I've tried Insurance before, but I've never had these. Um, It says they have 30 grams of protein. So I'm gonna basically use this as like, put some on my stomach before I go work out basically. And then y'all ended up coming across this. So it is Alani pre-workout now y'all know i've had the alani like energy drinks and i freaking love them y'all like if i have any energy drink it's gonna be a kimmy 
or it's gonna be the Alani ones, like literally chef's kiss. When I see they have pre-workout, I'm like, wait a minute, Bookie. I am going to end up dry scooping this tonight, and I don't think we're gonna end up putting these seasonings up tonight, y'all, just being honest, because I'm ready to go ahead and get to the gym. That way I can get back home by 10, because it's already 9.54, so I want to be in the gym by 9.15. It'll literally probably only take me 45 minutes to get my workout in. Then I also want to do hip thrust today, y'all, because it's a leg day. The last time I went to the gym was yesterday morning at 4 a.m. And it was arm day. So I did arms, I did backs, and I did a little bit of core. So today we're going to the gym and I'm going to be doing all legs all over. So we're going to do hams, quads, glutes, and I don't know about calves. But that's basically what we're going to be doing. So I want to try hip thrust, y'all, because I haven't done it in a while. And that was another reason why I got this pre-workout because I just wanted to give me that pump where I can really have a great workout you know we'll probably put those seasonings up tomorrow y'all or honestly I may even do it when I come from the gym just depending on like how my timing go but I really been like prioritizing editing over everything like if it can wait it can wait you know what I'm saying like I had to go to the grocery store and get this stuff but if it can wait it can wait and it's just like I'm not really using no seasonings tonight besides salt and pepper for the tuna so it's just like I'm in no hurry or no rush to put autumn seasonings up. Let me go ahead and put these groceries up, y'all. So how about when I went to the store yesterday, I literally got this. I got a six pack of these waters because I'm going to fill them up. I be filling them up when I'm at work, but I haven't like had to fill one up yet. I ain't been drinking enough water, but um, I usually fill them up when I'm at work, but I just bought this pack, so it's brand new. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be buying a six pack of water until the elevator is working. Oh, it's towing up a pack of water up three flights of stairs. Crazy. Baby, that's wow. Okay. Mm -mm, not, I'm, baby, <laughs> I'm not that girl. I'm shout out. I'm not that girl. Y'all, baby, my apartment is so bougie for me. Hello? It did. I, I saw that. Look at this. Y'all, my apartment is too bougie for me. Pick this, right? So, the other day, I I didn't have no water. I needed to go get some, but I needed to go to the gym. And I'm like, well, dang. I was like, I'm going to just go to the gym and just wing it. Like, I'm just not going to bring no water. Because I didn't know I had water. Because if, if you look at my fridge... It ain't no water dispenser nowhere near, nowhere on my fridge. So I'm like, okay, most like updated apartments come with like the water dispenser, right? That's what I got in mind. So I open the fridge or whatever. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm putting everything up. And I'm like, why do I hear like some running as if some like resetting or something? I knew it went to ice because it make a different sound. I'm like, what is that, y'all? I freaking kid you not. Bruh, I'm looking, I'm like, no way. I'm like, what is this? Why is the water dispenser on the inside? Yeah, why the water dispenser on the inside? I said, oh, y'all too bougie for me. Blood and pay all hard cold is none so hard to tell. I can't figure out her motives. It's the small things, don't take this to win her over. Stack out some of us, her birthday in October. Hey cousin, so I'm gonna be recording a voiceover, basically walking y'all through my workout and basically what I do for beginners. Now, excuse my voice because baby, your girl's just not gonna have voice back. But yeah, so let's get into it. First, I like to go ahead and start out with my dynamic stretches. Today is a leg day, so we just start out by doing these dynamic stretches. It's like three different stretches that I do. So yeah, let's just get into it. I mean, honestly y'all for these I don't really have no set number that I do typically I just do like 15 to 20 per leg then y'all your girl just go into like these lunges now you should definitely feel this in the glutes and you should feel it in the quads I like to go in with these little I don't even know what to call these but I used to do these little stretches during track and they really help to just stretch that whole part of your leg we're done warming up let's get on this stairmaster okay y'all so as far as the stairmaster I usually do the stairmaster for 10 minutes when I have time when your girl don't have time I usually do five minutes and I put it on level seven as far as the intensity because baby you gonna feel that burn okay
Okay, so fresh off the Stairmaster, y'all, we finna go straight into sumo squats and RDL. So, your girl likes to use a plate. I feel like that's how you get the best results as far as, like, really feeling that muscle gain, okay? And that gonna go crazy. Okay, so, y'all, here we go, going right into sumo squats. I'm using a 45 kettlebell. The key to sumo squats, well, really, any workout is going slow, y'all. Like, do not be in a rush. Literally take your time. That's how you get the gains in the gym besides eating of course but that's how you get your gains in the gym and then as far as sets y'all pretty much all my sets i do for leg workouts is three sets of 12. Okay, y'all, so let's get into these RDLs. And literally the same thing, y'all, like go slow. And then as far as your form, make sure your feet are pointed straight out, but make sure they're like at the same width as your shoulders, if that makes sense. They don't need to be too spread apart, cause babe, then at that point, you're not working on anything. <laughs> let's just be honest. But yeah, I do the same thing, y'all. I've been working on pacing myself going slower. And like I said, I do three sets of 12. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and hop into these hip thrusts, which has actually become one of my favorite workouts. It's so crazy because I used to hate doing hip thrusts, but honestly, I used to hate it because I wasn't doing it properly. My form was wrong, so it used to hurt when I used to do hip thrusts, like not hurting in a good way as far as like muscle gain. It would hurt like as soreness in my back, honestly. The way that I've learned to do hip thrusts is to make sure the bar, like where the little black thing is, right like on my pelvis if that makes sense like right on my right on the end of my stomach not too far down and not too far up the best thing i could do is just give y'all a visual Still looking right though. We might go back to the telly with me. Girl, give me, girl, give me that there. Girl, give me Ain't it fun? Ain't it fun? Living in the. Why well, I feel like y'all lose? Real world. It was up to you. Okay, y'all, so. Oh, we. Your girl is back from oh, my head back then. Well, actually I can take this head off for real. You girls back from the gym, y'all. I had a great workout. Like it's crazy because y'all, I literally still have so much freaking energy. And it's like, hey, girl, you got all this energy. Um, I'm gonna start a load of dishes because I do plan on making my protein shake in the morning so I can have some type of breakfast. So I'm just putting this up in here. Y'all love the fact that I got drawers on my island. I ain't, I ain't never had that before. Y'all, so your girl just got out of the shower. If y'all hear that noise in the background, it's because 
it's clothes in the dryer. Your girl just got out the shower. I am literally so tired. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning and I gotta be up by at least 6 a.m. And I gotta get up and move my charger. I, gotta I think it's an outlet behind this couch. So it's actually almost 2.30 in the morning. I'm about to go ahead and give me some rest shot because I gotta be up at at least 6 because y'all know I gotta fix me a protein shake. And then on top of me fixing me a protein shake, your girl gotta be at work at 8. Yeah, I'm about to give me some rest. I am so tired, but I feel really good knowing that I went 100% with my day, if that makes sense. I know I put in the most effort for my day, and that alone makes me feel really good. You went and had a night workout, not even just a night workout, a long night workout, knowing you've been up since like five this morning. But I'm just rambling at this point, y'all. I'm so tired. I'll talk to y'all in the morning or tomorrow. This is definitely going to be a weekly vlog. I don't think I'm going to end this vlog off until I finish going to go get the rest of the stuff from my mom's house, and that's going to conclude moving episode one. And then we'll just move into episode two. Episode one going to have a lot in it, baby. This is going to be a good episode for y'all. Y'all get to see you girls settling into her new home, working out. Y'all get to see me unpacking. Y'all got an apartment tour, baby. Y'all got everything in this vlog. And matter of fact, this is not moving vlog episode one. This is probably like moving vlog episode two. I know moving vlog episode one I'm currently working on, so I'm like, this can't be episode one. Anywho, child, I'm about to go to sleep, y'all. I'm sleeping on my couch because I'm trying to break this journey. Good morning, good morning, cousins. Y'all, it is, it's like 6.20, almost 6.30 in the morning. I got up around 5.50 because I wanted to do like a little project, y'all. So, your girl got up and I started doing measurements for my bedroom. And I kind of have an idea of how big my bed is going to be. And I have an idea of how big my, like, dresser is going to be. I'm not going to get both of them at the same time. I'm going to get my bed first, get my mattress, and then um, we'll get into the dresser. But I did get some sizing for it. The only thing is I do want to kind of like weigh my options with in-store options. So I will be going to a couple of like furniture places that are like near in my area. I'm not really in no rush and no hurry to look at dressers. It's just something that I want to do. Home decorating and furnishing your home is such like a fun project. So it's not necessarily you want to rush and do it. It's really the fact that you're so excited about it and you just want to go and you want to look at stuff you know what i'm saying and i kind of know like the layout um that i want for my bedroom if that makes sense i don't a thousand percent have to have nice stands i would love to have nice stands but not a thousand percent so that's something that i'm gonna put on the back burner until like i just really get everything else done i'm like okay i would love to get some nice stands but my main goal right now is to get my bed my bar stools which i'm not too rushing on the bar stools right now but my bed my bar stools my dresser and that's really it everything else can just flow and come as it come which that can too but those are like more of my priority kind of things you know that's tea for this morning your girl's about to go ahead and start getting ready for work y'all don't know which pair of scrubs i'm gonna wear today because i kind of wonder where my gray set because my blue set the top is so wrinkly and i'm just like i don't have no iron yet because my iron is at mom's house and i'm not pulling them clothes out the dryer because i don't got nothing to hang them up with and we definitely not hanging them up this morning y'all but i gotta get ready for work so yeah i'm about to grab my phone y'all and we're about to listen to a like youtube audio it's been more my vibe living y'all i'm gonna listen to something that's gonna feed my brain it was a specific episode i wanted to watch this one is two hours, y'all, and it's called Manifesting Miracles. This is how it looks if y'all want to go to heavy end. On what you give is one that everyone seems to understand.
<laughs> I'm literally so sleepy. I'm debating between do I go to sleep early tonight or do I stay up and get this video done? Like that's really what I'm debating between. But in the meantime, in between time, y'all, your girl got off work. I went straight to the gym. Y'all seen I had one worked out. And then I had went in like one of our little, y'all know like the little in apartments. I can't think of what the name of it is, but y'all know like in apartments, the little area where you can sit and coexist. It's like, um, like the amenities kind of thing. Yeah, so I was down there. I was editing for a little bit and then I ended up coming up y'all because lately I have just been like falling asleep editing. I don't know what it is, but I have just been like falling asleep while I'm editing. And I don't know if it's lack of energy. I don't know if it's lack of me getting rest. I... <laughs> Your girl really don't know. I got a workout in, we got some editing done, and it's only seven o'clock, so that's pretty good. And your girl ended up getting off. I ended up leaving work at like five, so time has been spent very good so far. Good morning, cousins. Good morning, y'all. You know what? It's not even morning no more, it's noon. Today is a pretty, I have a pretty busy day today. Y'all, I got this Red Bull from work last night. And I just have to accept the fact that Red Bulls just don't work for me because there's no reason I started drinking this and I still didn't feel no type of nothing. Like literally, I still ended up falling asleep. So it was just like, girl, what was the point of even bringing it home? I am going to be um, closing this vlog out today because I just don't want it to, I just don't want to drag it. I know y'all supposed to see me get my coffee table, but... I have to go do hair at 2. Right now it's 12 or 8 p.m. So I gotta grab me something to eat also, y'all, because I'm starving. But I gotta stop at my mama's house and get my coffee table and just some other stuff I need to get. But I'm about to be doing hair basically the whole, well, I ain't gonna say the whole day, but I'm gonna be doing hair for a couple of hours because this girl's hair I used to do back in the day. She ended up hitting me up to see if I could do her hair and she basically just wanna get it colored and she wanna get a silk press. So I was like, cool, you're gonna, your girl ain't never turned down on money. When the money call, I'm on the way. Yeah, right now I'm about to go ahead and like go brush my teeth and get ready real quick. We're gonna go and do hair and then y'all know we got work tonight. So, child, it's just been, oh, your girl been ripping and running, but it's okay because baby, we gotta get it, okay? And y'all, it was so good at work last night. Like, it was packed out. And then y'all, let's talk about how your girl got one of her vlogs done. So, there's a vlog going up tomorrow, which by the time y'all seen this shot, it's been out. But it's a vlog going up tomorrow and then I'm gonna process of working on my other vlog. Just a girl in her 20s figuring out life. That vlog, I'm working on right now and I'm like 15 minutes in editing. So, I'm just like, I'm gonna finish that jump real quick. That's why I'm like, hopefully y'all, what I can do is I can finish doing hair around like 4 or 5 p.m. and come home and continue editing that video. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that's what I can do. And y'all, I'm just about to put my hair back in a ponytail because my hair was in a ponytail last night. But I can't sleep on no, um, child, I can't sleep on no ponytail. So I just took it out and just put that bonnet on. But I'm just about to put it right back in the ponytail. It's going to go right back like this. And it's exactly how I'm wearing my hair tonight to work. Well, I might put it in a bun tonight because if my ponytail looking a little funky, she might want a bun. But yeah, because I ain't washing my hair till Sunday. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to de debate if I should go grocery shopping tomorrow, y'all. Or if I should just wait and go on Tuesday when I get off work. Or Monday when I get off work. Because my, I don't know if I told y'all this already. But my apartment's like the electrical. It's something with like the electrical thing that's connected to my oven. And so my oven don't work right now. But the guy is coming up to replace the breaker for my oven. He's coming up to do that on Monday. Which I will be at work. But it's just like I gotta have that done. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't just. And I have my stove working like baby. First of all, I need to be cooking because I'm trying to get my gains right. And if we not eating, what's really tea? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that. But, yeah, I'm finna go to go to the hair store, y'all, so I can get this developer and get this hair color. So, I can um, so I can do her hair. We're going to get it done today. We're going to get that money on today, baby. I need to make my business to get some organization things. I need to, oh, and I need to order a tray off Amazon for, like, my dishes to go in. Y'all know, like, the thing you have, like, your spoons and knives and forks and stuff sitting in. I need to order one of them for the kitchen because I don't have one. And I'm tired of my dishes just sending a dish rack like it's getting ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I need to go get some soap and some toothpaste today because baby, we playing the squeeze game with this. And I got some soap in there, but I've been using my soap that I use for my bubble bath because I'm out of my native, which I love native, y'all. Oh my freaking gosh. Like I am such a native girly now. I won't be using Dove no more. I won't be. Now I do want to try method. I ain't gonna lie. Method, I do want to try, but I'm such a dove girly, y'all. For, I mean, not Dove. I'm such a native girly. When I tell y'all native soap, like they body wash, it lathers so freaking good. You know how normally you would need to use like a loofah for like your soaps to lather real good? Because I know Dove, Dove is not that girl. She do not lather that good. Like Dove, I feel like I have to do like six or seven pumps 
to get a good lather. Native, I can literally do two pumps and I wet my towel and I sud it up. And baby, the sud lasts all over my body. Y'all know like some soaps get sudy and baby, you wipe one arm, the suds is gone. Like, boo, what's tea? Ciao. Anywho, oh, what is my eye, baby? But yeah, we need to get some soap, we need to get some toothpaste. It's a lot of stuff we need to get. I think what I'm gonna do is, y'all, I'm gonna close this vlog out and I'm just gonna open a whole new vlog and we just gonna go from there. I think I'm gonna open a whole new vlog today. I think I'm gonna do that. Like, once I get dressed and stuff, we're gonna open a new vlog. Have y'all heard future new album? Like, I don't think y'all was hearing my boy, okay? I know they got like some little beef going on with like Drake and them, but I don't think y'all was hearing my boy. I don't think y'all was hearing him. Matter of fact, y'all definitely wasn't hearing him. Let me turn it on. Where is, I actually got a few favorite ones on there. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I love the whole album. When it comes to uh, my Scorpio brother, I'm a ride. I like, um, I like fried though. That's like my favorite one. Cause she fried, she a vibe. She fried, she a, that's not even the, the, uh, Come on, okay. That's not even the right, uh, I can't even think of the word I'm trying to say, y'all. I got too much dip on my chill, that's why. Damn fried. The shawty chill vibe. The shawty chill vibe. The shawty chill vibe. Yeah, he did his big one on that joint. What else is my song? I love type shit. That's my song too. I like claustrophobic too. That's my song too. I like Cinderella too. Oh, Everyday Hustle. That's the one. Every okay, I would say honestly my top five on the album. Fry She Vibe, number one for sure. Ain't No Love. GTA, that's another one. Everyday Hustle, that's another one. What the fuck you mean? That's another one. Those are like my top five on the album. Now I do like type shit and I like claustrophobic. But those five that I just named. Oh yeah. This everyday hustle. Everyday hustle like we This paper coming to me 24 hours. I can't go sleep. I know the power of a dollar so fifty rounds. Alright, cousin, so you girls wanna go ahead and close this vlog out before we get ready to head out. But y'all know I will see y'all soon in the later in episode three, of course. Without that being said, I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. And y'all already know into the next vlog. The biggest she out the cut. Okay. Mwah. You gotta fight with me at Cheesecake You know I love to go there Say I'm acting light-skinned I can't take you nowhere